Hey, I'm Douglas Caballero, and we are here at Nikki Beach at the Spoke Club, and I am very pleased to be sitting down with Jay Cohen, who uh, heads up financing and distribution of film at Gersh, the agency. And uh, mm -hmm. you're a filmmaker, producer, mm -hmm. and former banker. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I started out as an investment banker in New York, made my way to LA, um, financed some movies for people. Um, by accident, so I learned how to make movies because <laughs> I invested in a movie and turns out the producers didn't understand that they weren't supposed to take the money home. Mm. So I took the movie over, learned all about film production, uh, started a production company with Dustin Hoffman, had another production company, made a lot of movies, uh, and then transitioned over to being a packaging agent. Right, and I think so. which is a good segue into uh, talking about the things that no one wants to really talk about when it comes to making a film, which is financing it and the four-letter word, distribution. Yes. Right? Let's, it's a lot of letters in four. But it, yeah. It, yeah, it's a lot more. Um, yeah. and let, let's get into that because you're, you're an expert. And, um, I, you know, it's, you, I'd like to paint a picture for people that is um, digestible, a way mm -hmm. to kind of like wrap their head around it. Because for right. a lot of filmmakers, a lot of artists, it's just too damn scary. Sure. And um, sure. you mentioned before we started this interview, um, the distribution is something mm -hmm. that really needs to be discussed. Mm -hmm. um, why? Well, we can talk about all the scary parts of making a movie and financing a movie, but at the end of the day, you're making a movie for what reason? So if you're making a movie so people are going to see it because you want people to watch what you're creating, then before you make the movie, think about who should be seeing it, who the audience is, who should be distributing the movie. And what I always say to filmmakers is, you're not making the movie for an audience. You're making a movie to sell it to a distributor so they then find your audience. And so understand that you're marketing something to somebody who's then marketing it to someone else. How, how well is that received, though, by an artist? It's, here's what's smart about it, is it's received in that most of the time they never thought about it. Mm. And then I say to them, who's your audience? Great, now give me a distributor that has distributed movies to that audience. And I just try to make them understand that while it is an art, there's a business behind the art. And at the end of the day, I will say this, I started out and I made a few movies. I wasn't proud of some of the movies I made. And I realized I spent a lot of time making a movie so that my parents watched. And I don't think most artists really want that. I think there are some artists who really do care about I'm making this and I'm making it for myself and I'm making it for the people who will find it. But you still have to have somebody who's going to invest in that movie. Mm -hmm. So unless you're going to fund it yourself, you have to at least understand the economics of why you're making it or who you're making it for, or where it fits in the market, when it should be released, why, and what's the point. And there is an objective to everything. Would you suggest to these filmmakers that they, when they're Think, even thinking about financing a film, raising money, that they build in um, a budget for distribution ahead of time? Not necessarily for distribution, right? Because distribution, if you're gonna self-distribute, it's so much work trying to then sell to every cable channel and all the SVOD companies and the home goods companies. What I always say is, I mean, if you're self-funding your own movie, I would say put some money in for marketing, right? Not self-distributing, but if I f have a really nice movie and I'm gonna go sell to distributors, right? And we, when I say distributors from the simplest, it's Disney, Fox, Warner Brothers, but then you have all the really good indie distributors like Cinedime and Alchemy and all these companies that release independent movies, right? And the independent distributors have a limited budget for both acquisition and for marketing. And so if I'm raising capital and when I talk to high net worth investors who say I wanna fund a movie, I say great, I want you to fund a movie, but then what I want you to do is put up a certain amount of movie to backstop P&A. Mm -hmm. And then they always say, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. and so here's what it means, right? Everybody knows that when you release a movie, it costs money to market it. The marketing money is called P&A, print and advertising, okay? So if I say you're gonna spend $5 million on a movie, guarantee me a million dollars after the fact that I can backstop to a distributor. So if I went to Fox and I said, I want you to release the movie, and they said, you know, we like it, but kind of a high risk. And then I say to them, Great, I tell you what, I'll guarantee you up to a million dollar loss in the P&A. So if you release the movie and you go spend five million dollars, but you're gonna lose a million, I'll cover that million. 90% of the time when studios release a movie, they don't lose money on distribution, 90%, right? So if I'm giving them an incentive by taking away a portion of their risk, they're gonna take the movie. Whereas if I didn't have that, then maybe they wouldn't buy it. Mm -hmm. Or if they bought it, they wouldn't release it in a theatrical way. 
And so what I try to do is say, let's think about smart money after good money. Smart money is incentivizing somebody else to help you. Bad money is throwing more money in a movie that isn't going to work. 